two sets of spectacles, the scourge of poor health and the curse of unrequited love. With these three inconveniences, he mounted the arching Alps, a godless hermit seeking Hyperborea as the shadow of death clawed at the polar sun. Not bound for Valhalla or the gloomy throne of Bayreuth, but back to the muse of Hellas and the jungle cats of Rome, deifying the tragic and purging the romantic, sickened by the church of an atrophied god and a rat-infested Eucharist caked with the morbid seed of a decaying resurrection. Born out of the Prussian fog, the might of arms trampling over the rights of man, exploding the Hegelian myth that master could be reconciled with slave and history could cease in the perfect pearl of God in state. That was the curse of the German soul, Faust redeemed in the depths of hell to free the will to conquer worlds and not be vanquished by his shadow. Out of a superabundant pain, the disease of strength breaking from its intellectual cage, a frenzied god of the loins bursting through the corpse of love and summoning the beast, the dancing swords raining from the laughing stars, to plunge the world into a deeper night where every book and every line could be ground and squashed to bootleg pulp and heaped upon the all-too-human pyre. <laughs>